You're living the dream, vacationing across the Americas. One fine day, you stop by a food vendor and order a delicious empanada. It's so crunchy and yummy, and oh no, what is that? As you can only identify half of a cockroach's body. This means that the other half is now swimming its way down your digestive system. Now what? Does this mean you'll turn into a similar insect-like creature in that famous Kafka book? Nah, unfortunately, you won't live through any metamorphosis. Let's see what happens to that poor little insect. First of all, if you haven't missed school, you know that digestion starts at the mouth. Saliva contains a lot of special enzymes that help digest the starches in your food. In other words, saliva is acidic and starts to break that roach down. So probably if it was alive, it began to pass away right then and there. This means that by the time it makes it to your stomach, it's most likely gone for good. Contrary to your biggest fear, it will not start walking around in your tummy. You see, your experience with this insect has been terrible so far. You've seen this little dude eating the pages of your favorite books. You've seen it squeeze its way in tiny holes when you tried going after it. And you've seen it coming in and out of sewers like it's their playground. So it's normal for you to think, Oh no, will I get sick? Hopefully not. I like to think that since you swallowed such a small piece of it, your immune system will probably take care of it without any big damage to your body. But there is a chance that you'll get similar symptoms to when you have the flu. Apparently cockroaches contain a specific type of protein in their bodies that can give people allergies. It could affect your respiratory system, so you'd find yourself having stuff like a runny nose, an itchy throat, some random rashes, and so on. Since you're a natural truth seeker, while that cockroach is being digested in your intestines, you decide to become the world's next cockroach expert. Surprisingly, this does take the edge off. Fun fact about roaches, they can hold their breath underwater for up to 30 minutes. This means that if they weren't affected by the acid in your stomach, they could probably survive quite some time in there. That's also how they circle around so comfortably inside sewers. But that's disgusting, so we should change the imagery. Even though they are kind of icky insects. A lot of cultures in the world do eat cockroaches. They are considered highly proteic, like many insects. These roaches that you can find in big food markets weren't taken off the streets, though. They were born and raised in cockroach farms. I mean, can you imagine that? They're popular because they're cheap, and they can be raised in pretty large quantities at once. On a brighter note, did you know that if you actually did swallow a cockroach, it would be like swallowing a dinosaur? I mean, they're not technically dinosaurs. But roaches were the first and only creatures to be discovered living in caves before the dinosaurs were wiped out some 60 million years ago. So next time someone asks you what your favorite meal is, maybe you can say, that prehistoric empanada I had once when I was traveling the world. After a few hours, you're looking at your experience from a different point of view. Who knew you wouldn't be traumatized by swallowing a live cockroach, but rather, you'd want to get more intimate with them as a species. Walking down the street, you see some roaches circling around and even decide to name them. That one is Angkor, for example. And it's a baby cockroach. You recently discovered that a one-day-old cockroach can already run as fast as its parents. And gasp! But there are over 4,000 different species of cockroaches worldwide. Who would have known? You post all about your emotional journey with roaches on social media, and a lot of people seem to have an opinion on what might happen to you. They were all wrong, though. It's been over eight hours already, and that half of a cockroach you ate has probably already been absorbed by your body. That's when your phone rings, and Peter, a close friend of yours, is panicking on the other end of the line. Man, I was taking a nap with my mouth open, and I think I just swallowed a whole spider. And no, unfortunately, the outcome of this story is not him becoming the next Spider-Man. You see, there's a popular myth that someone started spreading around many years ago that humans usually swallow up to a pound of spiders while sleeping during one lifetime. But that's not true. It's very difficult for a human to swallow a spider unintentionally. The main reason for this has to do with spiders themselves. Humans are huge creatures, and often spiders will see us as a part of the landscape. Just like a couch, stairs, 
or a piece of furniture. Secondly, if they did get close enough to us, the bizarre sounds we make while sleeping would scare them away. Our snoring and even our breathing vibrate intensely, and this is enough to keep a spider away from us. Only a small number of spider species actually share the space of our homes with us. Unless you live in Australia, of course. And they usually live in quiet corners, not bothering us humans much. Ah, plus, we hardly ever swallow while we're sleeping. The average human spends a long time of their sleeping period without swallowing. It means that the time gap between one swallow and another, the itsy bitsy spider, would have been far gone from Peter's mouth. I think he just wanted a story as hype as yours to share online. Here's a plot twist though. What if what happened to you were to happen the other way around? I mean, what if you were swallowed by a live cockroach instead? Now I know what you're thinking. This would only be possible in the plot of a Harry Potter or some cheesy sci-fi movie but bear with me. You find yourself shrinking in size until your field of vision is dominated by this humongous animal. From where you're standing, you can see its furry legs and oh my, those look like some weird replacement for teeth. In its eyes, you're probably just another insect that belongs to its wide range of culinary options. Unfortunately for you, roaches will eat almost anything they come across. It's getting closer and closer. Every time it moves its legs, the floor beneath you trembles. You try to run, but it outruns you, and yikes! You've just got swallowed by this beast. A quick check of your surroundings. It's dark and damp and quite smelly. Over to your right, you have what looks like a piece of fruitcake. To your right, a bygone insect. You start to feel a little out of the fresh air, but manage to get a bit of oxygen when the roach opens its mouth to eat yet another piece of something. Its digestive tract looks pretty big, and by its size, you try to figure out how big your cockroach buddy must be. You know that one of the biggest cockroaches alive measures around 6 inches. I mean, that's the size of an American $1 bill. It's so big that you could probably build a racetrack and do some exercise while you wait to be digested. What's that waterfall forming on the horizon? Ew, how gross. I think it's the roach's intestinal juice that's about to fall down upon you. In a few minutes, them enzymes will break you down like a five-star meal. A few hours ago, you were living your dream vacation and now, you're on the inside of the very creature you've been trying to avoid your entire life. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.